Free will, humanity's favorite philosophical hot potato. Are we the authors of our actions, or just sophisticated meat puppets dancing to the tune of determinism? The debate's been raging since ancient times, when Aristotle argued for voluntary action, while the Stoics saw a cosmos ruled by fate. Descartes championed free will as proof of the soul during the Enlightenment, and Spinoza countered that free will's an illusion, we're just ignorant of the causes driving us. Enter modern science, with neuroscientists like Benjamin Libet showed our brains make decisions before we're consciously aware. Quantum mechanics threw a curveball and started asking if subatomic indeterminacy leaves room for free will, or is quantum randomness just as imprisoning as classical determinism? Compatibilists like Daniel Dennett argue free will's compatible with determinism and that we're free if we act according to our own motivations, even if those motivations are determined. Philosophy's grumpy cat Arthur Schopenhauer starts his distribution of yet one more flavor of existential crisis, stating that you can do what you will, but you can't will what you will. Libertarian free will posits that individuals have the ability to make choices independent of any prior causes. Some argue against the notion and view it not only false but also self-contradictory, suggesting that while human actions may be determined by prior states of the universe, this does not negate the experience of making choices, and that our decision-making processes, which involve weighing options and predicting outcomes, create a sensation of agency that feels like free will. The debate has real-world implications. How can we hold people morally responsible if they're not truly free? What about criminal justice? Some say free will exists in some circumstances and maybe free will's a spectrum, or perhaps it's an emergent property like consciousness, and that's free will in 100 seconds. But did you really choose to listen? Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.